here it comes. Spirit of Tasmania 1. That's the day trip one. Yeah, so after six weeks it's uh, come to an end. Tasmania. There's still a massive line of cars still to come on. A lot of vehicles. Hey, what a great, great time I've had here. boat's actually moving now well we're turning around so about 10 to 10 just missed the horn it for the lights so see you later Tasmania so back in the mainland sort of except we're on the water just about nearly in Geelong just see the Melbourne skyline. Getting into the uh, Geelong terminal. Yeah, that's where I waited in the car park for a couple of hours. And then you go and queue up here.
Back on the main lane. Uh, what a great trip. Well, I've just left Geelong heading kind of north coming to a road called Anarchy Road and uh, if you've seen the Mad Max movies it started off on an Anarchy Road because um, while I'm heading north I might sort of pop in and see if I can find a couple of Mad Max movie locations because that was sort of filmed a lot around this area as well the chase scenes and the town where the bike has arrived that's uh, I'll be going through that today I don't know if you just relocated an anarchy road sign or actually did use this road it's just a guess for me I don't know actually I've just uh, right now a car came from the left here and if I'm not sure this could be the exact spot where the uh, the yellow police car and the uh, the bad guy in the black Monaro sort of collided nearly collided right here I don't know but it's got that same angle. Gee, I'll have a I'll have a relook at them. Maybe it might not be. I mean, it just sort of had the similar angle to it. Yeah, all this area just it just looks so Mad Max. Some of these dips and bridges and just makes you wonder. Just nearly in Ballarat, they just had a freeway bridge back there, a little rest area. I just weighed the car, 2200 kilos, yeah 2200. I see they have old Cryle Castle still here, we used to come in here as we were um, kids. Yeah, I'll just have a quick drive in here, like a medieval castle theme park. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, it's a bit off the main road now, but uh, yeah it was a really huge well, it must be still open, I think. It's a real, it's like a medieval themed um, thing. Oh, I'm down, just driving into Clunes. So this is where uh, one of the Mad Max scenes was, where all the bikies rolled into town and they found that red car and chased it. Oh yeah, I think I can, I think I can recognise this street here. Here's the shed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you see, see this shed right here. I think this is where the bike is all reversed, reversed in, just here. It's actually got some really interesting old buildings. Just a shame it's pouring with rain. Gee, it's, a, it's an interesting, interesting town. Let's see if I can pull in close to where the Mad Max scene was. Just, uh, I think just here where I'm pulling in. I think just in there. Probably right here actually. Probably right here they were reversing in. I think that shed there, you can see that in the movie. I'm just staying in the car doing this because it's raining, but uh, I've just been watching the Mad Max on the phone when all the bikies arrived. And this is it, this is the, um, this is the shed here where the um, station master uh, meets them at the front and uh, so right along here right where I'm parked actually and just here is where all the motorbikes reversed up yeah you can make out these windows still a lot of the shops are painted different colors though and uh, yeah all the motorbikes sort of parked up just here and it was probably just 
just here where they did the um the motorbike did the donut and they tied the guy to it and dragged him down the street here hey that's clean as i sort of right in the middle of town it's a bit hard to film but um yeah it's raining too but yeah this is uh this is it this is that shed you see this a bit for a few minutes in that scene this building here with those three windows up top you see that that as well yeah in that scene uh, one of the bikers he he grabs an inflatable a pink inflatable elephant or something from that corner just there yeah before they uh drag the guy behind the motorbike they um chase him into this shop here and they uh, push him out the door or the window and then the couple in the red car they're standing right on this corner and when they go to take off because the car is parked about where this little black thing is they take off here spinning their wheels and nearly knock over the tow cutter and then they take off down that way and the tow cutter sort of comes running around here whistles and gets them to all uh, chase that car so that's Clunes and this is the uh, Clunes railway this is where the bike is the tow cutter comes to pick up the night riders coffin so that's uh that's just right along here so it'd be right about here where the little wheelbarrow was with the coffin and it's right around here right about here where he gets the guy to station master to take off his hat and so remember the night rider when you look at the night sky yeah so that's it that's this uh, the railway station i think over here where that little concrete thing is was a um little crane or something in the scene just on a little drive out of clunes that that uh can there says the first gold in victoria was discovered near this spot in 1851 so it was right near here where the first gold was i'm just heading uh to a town called molden which is quite historic there's a old train there as well i'll see if that's running yeah i'm just in a, i think i'm still in the golden triangle around the bendigo area Gold Exchange Cafe. This is just walking through some streets in Malden. Yeah, look at the gutters. I made of stone. like I was still walking down Clune Street. Fudge shop. Great right down there. Old Molden Hotel. Just trying to film when no people are walking down the street. Yeah, when you're trying to film old towns like this is Probably better to do it on a Sunday with no cars around. Or if any people around. Yeah, it's like walking down Clunes. Or well, Charters Towers or something. So many buildings still. Still, look at this. 
again here there's actually uh, mechanics in this building here with the petrol pumps still out well, still operating You film along and then you realise you've got an ugly wheelie bin in the shot. <laughs> oh well, still been living in, so I really expect all these. Oh, it's a molding lolly shop. Hmm. Longer than that, I suppose this might have been a pub once. I guess it's used to maybe where they used to put the, the barrels in or something. And check it out. They've got these spikes. It's moulding. The moulding historic area. We're getting all weather today. Sun's out, gets hot. Clouds come, it's cold. Yeah, I think this is called the Beehive Mine. So it's got the, the big chimney up there. A few remnants just here as well. See? foundations just over here perhaps it was another stamp battery there's a whole lot of people walking to the uh, train station so it looks like the old train will be uh, heading off shortly it's the uh, Molden railway station Getting ready to go. It's an interesting little 3D sign. Molden Railway. Don't forget your tucker. I've Is there the the overland? Oh. Might get down the road somewhere and see if I can see it a bit better going past. Here comes the old train, Molden. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now that was sort of good timing. I just meandered into mould and then a short wait. The train took off. It's good when that happens. Looks like the dredging and a barrel and then uh, little buckety things. Yeah, you ask yourself what on earth they brought that all out here for. I mean, <laughs> it's a dredge, but it's sort of right out here. While I'm filming, I'm just looking for swear words graffitied on here so I don't film it. Yeah, wow. Signage is gone, but go. the old bridge. Yeah, the sun's out, so I'll uh, have a bit of an explore today. So it's all turned flat country now. Bit of a cold morning, so I'm expecting it to be a bit warmer today. Just coming into the town of Inglewood. It's all part of the uh, Golden Triangle area, I think. Yeah, if you uh, remember Ansett Airlines, Reginald Ansett, he came from here, Inglewood. Yeah, Inglewood. Building there. Major General Edwin Tivy, born here, 1866, died 1947. Commander of the 5th Australian Division and 2nd Cavalry Division. Yeah, so Sir Reginald Miles Ansett, born here 1909. Born in Inglewood, right here, so the founder of Ansett Airlines. There's a little thing here of some of the different mines. Maxwell's Mine. Buchanan line. Oh, so that was Inglewood. Looks like the main road still goes right through it on the way to Mildura. Well, just beside the road here, just south of Wedderburn, there's a can here. For Major Mitchell, explorer, passed here 7th of July 1836. Yeah, Major Mitchell. All these little historic spots, you know, you don't get a lot of time to pull over to, um, to go and have a look at them. You know, this is uh, <laughs> the spiders behind me. Oh, they're alive. Been through Inglewood. I'm about here, so I uh, just better head to Wedderburn.
Yeah, this weather burn apparently under the road there's a lot of gold. But they're not going to dig the road up to get the gold. All these trees here, I wonder if it's part of the avenue of honour. The whole street. Look at that church, it's got a mural. I wonder if that's a private house or it's still a church. You don't sort of see that every day, do you? Yep, this is the tree I remember in this area, the peppercorn trees. Yeah, all the little access roads are all washed out with the recent rain, which would be um, perfect for everyone looking for gold, all the little washaways and everything from the rain. But of all everyone's little um, claims and everything, you wouldn't be sort of game to walk around in case you're on somebody's claim. Because I don't think they like people walking around their claims, that's for sure. Perfect timing for uh, getting a shot of a cathedral there. Eh? Yeah. Just one of the many um, great old buildings in Bendigo. Yeah, just thought I'd have a little walk through Bendigo on a Saturday morning. Well, parts of Bendigo, maybe some of the good bits. It says here, opened in July 1881 by His Royal Highness the Prince Albert Edward Victor of Wales and named Alexandra. Hmm. I just realised the horses have got dragon tails. Cenotaph. Sorry, it's in shadow. Yeah, so they still run some tourist trams in Bendigo. I tried to get to the, uh, the little sheds where they are, but uh, there's sort of road works going on. I couldn't, I wasn't sure if I could even get in there. Yeah, very busy place, Bendigo. Queen Victoria statue. This is an advertisement to see that see that Myers store. That's the first Myers store ever in Australia. Started here in Bendigo. So did Chico Rolls. This is the tram line. You get trams going through. Some great old buildings. Big buildings too. This part of Bendigo shop fronts would be quite old. You know, the work there. This reminds me when I was walking down uh, Charters Towers. These sorts of shop fronts. 
quite good, it's a Saturday morning, so we don't have sort of those people everywhere. Sort of lots of uh, international restaurants here. Oh, I'm just going to move on across the road here. This place always reminds me of the Munster's house. Oh, well, that's, uh, that's Bendigo on a Saturday morning. So, yeah, I think I got some good colours on the, uh, on those buildings as well. There's the, uh, little greenhouse there too. I think there's a very rare plant in there that flowers only once a year or something and it really stinks too. Apparently it stinks like rotting flesh or something. And I think I saw that many years ago. All right, so I, uh, that's it, made it into Victoria. Yeah, just sort of made a quick trip up the middle there, up to, uh, through Maldon and uh, Bendigo and Inglewood. I'll be heading up to uh, Echuca next. Have a look on the Murray there, look at the paddle boats. And uh, should be good. Right, if you like that video, don't forget the thumbs up and the notification button and subscribe button. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Thanks everyone for subscribing. And I'll uh, see you in a Thanks for watching. Okay.